What's up, y'all? You already know this your rock star, Wicked Wish. <laughs> Mike Render. <laughs> this dude is wildin'. It took him a long time to pretty much, you know, put everything together, all the documents, Whatever he want to put together to make it seem like he's not lying, but you will always be a liar, Mike. <laughs> Come on, man. Oh, man, y'all, this is crazy. This is insane. But at the same time, let's get into his lies. I want to address an important matter circulating in the former Scientologist community for the last few weeks concerning a criminal investigation into child beep abuse allegations against the father of Miriam Francis. I will lay out the timeline and associated evidence in this blog post. First, I want to be clear. I don't want anyone attacking Miriam or anyone else on my behalf. Hold on. First of all, I want to be clear. Tell people to stop attacking Scientology. Tell them that. Why you can't tell them that? Why they got to attack the church like that? But you want to sit here and try to say don't attack Miriam? You know what you did. What Miriam has been through in her life, mainly due to Scientology, is something no person should ever have to face. For those seeking the actual facts... This blog post contains all the information and associated documentation. Continuing to disseminate lies after reading this post will reveal a lack of interest in the truth. Confirming an agenda unrelated to advocating for victims or exposing the crimes of Scientology. As much as I don't want to engage in a public dialogue on this matter, the subject at hand is much too serious not to address. One can publicly accuse another of covering up criminal conduct, which is an accusation of participating in that conduct and not open themselves up to a public response. Miriam has made allegations about me, which are not true. I am also publishing this because I don't want unsuspecting people to get caught up in this matter without accurate information. As I have mentioned many times in the past, both in interviews on Leah Remini Scientology in the aftermath and in my book, I have spent the last 15 years pushing to expose Scientology's abuses, not only because it's the right thing to do, but also because I feel it is my responsibility after spending many years serving in the leadership of an organization that destroyed people's lives. I also feel responsible for bringing two children into Scientology, my daughter Taryn and my son Benjamin. I had much easier and more lucrative options in my post-Scientology life. I have chosen this path because I felt it was my duty. First of all, yo, I wonder what your daughter got to say. That's your daughter. So whatever she say, it's legit. Let's hear what she got to say. For Mike Rinder to be now using this, that he was a Sea Org member or a Sea Org dad as an excuse or as a shield to, as, you know, a shield to cover up what he really, really that it was him. Like he's the one behind that shield. So that shield is this strong defense and why it was and whatever. But behind it, he's back there cowering and knowing he never cared. He never does care. He's only holding that shield right now for publicity's sake. And so he can look good on TV. And so he can act like he's just this great guy. I can't think of a time in my life that Mike Rinder was there when I needed him. Or when I, you know, when he could have been there or should have been there as a father. When I got hit by a car when I was eight, he wasn't there. He... I don't think I ever saw him. I don't have a picture of ever seeing him the entire year of recovery. My grandparents came from Australia. My mom was there every second that I woke up in the hospital screaming or um, needing somebody or something. My mom was there and he wasn't there when my brother got cancer. He didn't give a hoot about him. 
And like I said, this shield is a perfect example. He's holding it up to protect himself. But, but behind there, there's a black skeleton. And um, that shield's going to crack. And if anyone really looks just right around the shield, they'll see the real Mike Rinder under there. Because he's there and he's awful. Yo, you did your kids dirty. Now you want a fake beef with Aaron? Yo, yeah, fake beefing for views. You can see it. Come on. <laughs> the new wave of attacks began when Aaron Smith Levin was asked to remove himself from the board of the Aftermath Foundation. He originally agreed to do so voluntarily, but when the agreed upon date came, he refused to go. I considered Aaron a friend, Christy, Claire, and Mark did as well. First of all, you said I consider Aaron a friend, Christy, Claire, and Mike did as well. What do that tell you right there? What that mean? You're speaking for them. Our families were close. Our children played and we vacationed it together. We were concerned when we asked Aaron to step down that our relationship would survive. There are plenty of examples in a non-Scientology world of people making such difficult decisions, yet finding a way to move forward. In our case, with the ultimate goals in mind, maintaining relationships we claim are important to us and staying focused on helping those leaving Scientology with the assistance of the Aftermath Foundation. Because someone isn't on the board doesn't mean their work can't continue, especially when Aaron had lamented that he cared so much for those reaching to the foundation for help. Sally Aaron made it clear that he didn't have a title and position on the foundation board. He would not continue to support, and without a title, he would not be our friend. On a personal level, this Scorch Earth strategy hurt us deeply. I am not going to speak on behalf of the other members of the Aftermath Foundation board, but I will speak for myself. I reacted in an unprofessional way to his first video announcing that he was no longer affiliated with the foundation in which he falsely claimed his removal was a sinister and convert companion to, to destroy his character and eliminate him from the foundation he had helped found. I wish I hadn't responded from an emotional place, but I did. I was hurt by the misreputation surrounding just justified removal. He had agreed to voluntarily step down for reasons he know. I should have reacted unemotionally without any comment at all. I am not perfect. I have and will in the future make mistakes. What's up, y'all? You already know this your rock star, Wicked Red. <laughs> y'all make sure y'all like, comment, and follow my channel. Want to support my channel? The link and all of the information is in the bio, all right? Y'all make sure y'all hit up the Celebrity Center to set up a meet and greet with me, your rock star, Wicked Witch. Email seminars at celebritycenter.org. That's S-E-M-I-N-A-R-S at C-E-L-E-B-R-I-T-Y-C-E-N-T-R-E dot O-R-G, all right? You already know, this your rock star, Wicked Witch. Welcome to Wicked Witch World. <laughs>